technical difficulties with my computer this evening. Not sure what was going on, but hopefully that fresh restart is going to make everything go seamlessly for the next hour or two. So welcome to tonight's stream. We are actually going to stream the campaign Hogwarts battle game and we are going to start out right from the beginning and we are going to just start with game one. Yep. Welcome muggles. So we're going to Game one, I think, is pretty easy. Um, if you haven't played this game before, it's similar to the deck building game we played last week, which was the Defense Against the Dark Arts. Both of these games use a very similar deck building mechanic where you have a five card starting hand and you are basically playing cards to get different resources to either buy more cards for your deck or... Um, use lightning bolts to deal damage to villains. Yep, so exactly. the only difference in this game is instead of dueling each other, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's cooperative and we're going to be playing um, against uh, villains. So there is actually seven games, one for each uh, year at Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. And uh, you actually start out as the young heroes. Uh, the first game is supposedly really easy. Um, they do say that if you want to increase the difficulty, start the game with one strength on the location. Okay. So we could do that, make it a little more difficult. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, I'm using Harry Potter, mm -hmm. and Andrea's using Hermione. Yep. So we're going to shuffle up, and I think we just reveal the, the villain. The villain. Okay. Professor Quirrell. Professor Quirrell. Alrighty. And so... In this game, uh, it doesn't really matter who goes first. Nope, because we're playing cooperatively. Playing cooperatively, so... We do, however, have to reveal our uh, Hogwarts <clears throat> deck yep. here. All right. So... And we'll kind of talk the game through as we play it. The game's pretty simple, Lots so okay. I don't think it's necessarily do like a full tutorial. Um, as you guys watch, you'll see it's it's pretty simple. So those are the cards that you can purchase um, to add to your deck to have more spells and more items, more allies, and just get stronger yep. as the game progresses. Exactly. <laughs> so we have three Reparos, actually. So all of these cards do the same thing. They, uh, you can choose either one, either gain two galleons or draw a card. We also have one Quidditch gear, which is gaining a lightning bolt and a health. And then we have two Essence of Dittanies, which allows any one hero to gain two health. Now, uh, our starting guys in game one, our starting characters, don't have any special abilities, but nope. as we progress through the story, we will gain new abilities and add more cards yep. to the pool, etc. So do you want to go right. first? Sure, I will go first. So the first thing we do is reveal and resolve Dark Arts event cards, and that's these square guys right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to reveal this card. It is Active Hero Loses Two Life Expulso. So I'm going to go from 9 to 8, or from 10 to 8, I should say. So that's the first thing we do. The second thing I do is resolve any active villain abilities. Quirrell is the active villain, and said that says active hero loses one life. So I lose another life, go down to 7. It's also important to know when you're playing uh, the location card. I'm going to pop this on here for a quick second. The location card actually tells you how many... Um, dark art cards you need to reveal per the location. Mm -hmm. So this one only has one, and that's because it's the first game. But as you uh, get later into the game, so, <laughs> sometimes you're revealing anywhere upwards of three cards, three yeah. dark art cards, mm -hmm. just to start the turn. Yeah. So similar to the dueling game, the starting decks, they're not the same for each player, but they're similar for each player. So each player starts with a bunch of just the standard Alohomora spell that is gaining a galleon. And then each hero also starts with at least one, maybe two items and an ally, I believe, is, yep. what, is what you start with. So I have... Yeah, it's very... If, it's a cool thing about... Um, actually, my mic... The uh, cool thing about these uh, games made by USAopoly is that if you learn how to play one of them, playing the second one's a breeze. 
They're very similar. They all use the same language, similar mechanics, um, which actually makes it fun because they are fresh and different. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to actually try it. There's an expansion to this game um, for Fantastic Beasts. Oh, is there? Yeah, we have it. The That's not for Fantastic Beasts. It's uh, it's just monsters. It came out before the Fantastic Beasts movie. I thought it had to do with Fantastic Beasts, no? I mean, maybe. <clears throat> I haven't actually played it, yeah. but I think there uh, it's it's supposed to simulate going into the dark forest, okay. I believe. So yes, you're fighting monsters. I think it's the monster expansion. Yeah, but, but I think it's like a it. almost kind of like a, a mini side game. Almost. Yes, yeah. that's my understanding. And my understanding is you're supposed to actually play through the original base game before you go delve into yeah. that, which is why I haven't delved into that because we've actually never beaten this game. So we'll see. Maybe we'll do it at some point on stream. And we're not that bad at it, but... We just haven't played it a lot. We haven't it's played hard. it it's a lot, and the last two are very hard. Very you have hard. to have. Uh, you have to know what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. And it, honestly, it might be easier to do with more people than last because we don't you know. have more activated abilities, but who knows? Okay, so I'm going to... I have three Alohomora spells, so that'll give me three Galleons. Then I have a Time Turner, which allows me to gain a Galleon, and then any spells I acquire get put on top of my deck. Nice. And then I have Tales of Beetle the Bard. Which is, I can either choose to gain two galleons, or all heroes can gain one. And I'm thinking it would be better for us each to gain one. You think so? What are you going to spend on for five? Five, I can buy a two and a, th a three and a okay, two. Okay, cool. But then that gives you an opportunity to potentially buy something that's pricier yep. that might flop. <clears throat> okay. So that's, and that's kind of where, because this, again, has an all heroes ability, that's where I think it might be beneficial to have more players because you're just getting ex exponential benefit. But who knows? We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be like like in Marvel Champions where it's a, that ramp based on the number of players for the villain. Yeah. I don't know if that exists. I guess you're drawing more of these. Yeah. And those do hit all players, so I guess it's similar. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm spending three galleons on one of these Reparos, which I can put on top of my deck because of my time turner. Then I'm going to flip this, and it is a 5 Descendio to gain 2 Lightning Bolts. And then I have 2 remaining, so I am just going to buy Essence of Ditney, which goes into my discard pile. Reveal a new card, and it's a 4 Incendio, gain a Lightning Bolt, and draw a card. Alright, so that was my turn, so now I have to replace my hand. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I have 1 card left. And my turn is done. So yep. now it's Ron's turn. Also, at the end of the turn, we would uh, uh, we would check to see if this location had enough of these strengths to defeat it. Um, if there's this location has four, so if there was four of these tokens here at the end of her turn, <clears throat> um, we would lose this location and have to go to the next one. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's my turn. Yep. Well, I'm gonna play. Well, the first thing we have to do <clears throat> is oh, yeah. resolve one yeah. of these cards. Yep, so first thing is um, active hero loses a health and discards a card, which is kind of annoying. So I'm going to discard a card. Um, well, gain a lightning bolt or gain two health. That's four. So, hmm, I have an interesting choice. There's n what's the one that costs four? Lightning bolt and draw a card. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna sadly discard Hedwig. And the reason I'm gonna discard Hedwig is it just represents one lightning bolt because I don't have any health to gain. At the moment. At the moment. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to lose two though. I'm about to lose one, right? No, two. Why? Because he's gonna make you lose one. Oh yeah, yeah. So hold on, let's. <laughs> so, changing your mind. Changing my mind. Uh, we are going to discard my broom. It just represents one lightning bolt. Yeah, we're not going to defeat a villain. So, <clears throat> so we're not going to defeat a villain. So, I'm going to discard that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take one damage from here and one damage from the villain. And now I'll play my turn. So, we're going to play Hedwig. Hedwig's going to give me a lightning bolt. And two hearts. So I'm going to go back up. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to play three copies of 
Alohomora, so that's four total. Okay. So I'll I'll purchase Buy the, the one for four. Might as well. And that'll go in my discard pile. Correct. Mm, I'm struggling Struggles. here. We're replacing with another Reparo. Okay. All right, lots of Reparos. These go to my discard pile. And then at the end of my turn, uh, we check this, which is nothing, and then I draw a new hand. And you deal a damage. And I deal a damage. And, yep, there. Right there. Yep. <clears throat> All right. It's so, been a while. Yeah. <clears throat> it's similar to the dueling game, but a little different in, in little instances. Alrighty, so I got... But it's nice, it uses all the same tokens. Correct. It uses the same type of cards that go in your deck. Mm -hmm. It's just, they're played a little... These are the... It's, this is the yes, difference. It's slightly and different. And the turn structure. Exactly. But it just <clears throat> makes it where if you've played this, it's super easy to pick up the dueling game. Yep. Okay, I have one, two, three Alohomoras. So that is three Galleons. I can use Crook Shanks to probably. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually totally forgot. You gotta I turn. gotta do the whole turn. Yep. Okay, so we start by drawing a Dark Arts event card. Sorry, we're bad at this. Yeah, it's remembering. Okay, so it's the same one I got last time. Active Hero loses two health. Then I have to trigger the Villain ability, which is I'm gonna lose all, another one. All heroes. No, that's the what's funny. That's oh, what that's the reward. Him. All yeah. heroes. Active Hero active loses, loses one. one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So refresh. So now I'll take my turn. So one, two, three. Aloha Moras gives me three galleons. I'm going to use Crook Shanks to. I can either gain a lightning bolt or gain two health. I'm definitely going to gain two health. Go back up to six. And then I have my Reparo that I bought last turn. So I can either choose to gain two galleons or draw a card. I know that card is probably just another Aloha Mora, which is only one Galleon, so there's no point. So I'm going to get two Galleons from that card. And there is a five on the board, so we're going to buy the five. All these are going to my discard. So I bought Descendia, which is gaining two Lightning Bolts. So in, in Harry Potter, what is the Aloha Mora spell do? Open. Open, gotcha. And we have another Incendio, so it's another four cost one, okay. which is gain a lightning bolt and draw a card. My turn is over, but I only have one card left in my deck, so I'm shuffling my discard pile, and then I will draw up. Yep, yeah. so and we're uh, so. we're good on here, so we are going to go here, and I'm going to reveal a dark arts card, and active hero loses a health. And discards a card. The same one. So yeah, we are uh, <laughs> we're just rotating apparently with the ones, same ones we're getting. And okay, so I am going to discard. So first thing I do is active hero loses a health, and I discard a card. I'm going to discard a uh, Aloha Mora, and then. The villain is going to make me lose another health. Mm -hmm. And then I have three Alohomoras left. So we're going to get three here. Yep. And then I actually have the Invisibility Cloak, which is uh, yeah, gain a galleon. If this card's in your hand, you can't lose more than one health from each Dark Arts event or villain, which unfortunately each one did me one, so it didn't really do anything. Yep. But I have four, but so I'll helpful. buy the other four cost card. Okay. So that's going to go to my discard along with. And we have revealed Hagrid, our first ally. Nice. So Hagrid, uh, it dis dissimilarly to the dueling game, allies are one and done. If you play them and then they go to your discard pile, in the dueling game, allies Hang persist. Out. Yep. This game, they're played and then they're gone. So Hagrid's ability when he is played is to gain a lightning bolt and all heroes gain a health. Nice. That'd be helpful. Yeah. Alrighty. So you're done? Yep. Okay, and so, so end of the turn, nothing here. I have to reshuffle my deck because I'm out of cards. Yep. And I'll draw five. Yep. And you're up. My turn. So the first thing we do is reveal a dark arts event. Yep. Ooh, add a strength to the location, a dark mark to the location. Yeah, that's bad. He who must not be named. Okay. Voldy, Voldy. Then 
We have to resolve the villain, which is active hero loses one health. So I'm going to go down to five. And then I'm going to play my cards. So I have one, two, three Alohomoras again. So gain three galleons. I have my Descendo to gain two lightning bolts. And I have Tails of Beetle the Bard again. So I can either choose to gain two galleons or have all heroes gain one. There is nothing on the board for five. So I'm going to choose to have both of us gain one. So I'll have four. And I'm just going to purchase Hagrid with the four. Sounds good. And reveal a new card. And it's another Reparo. Okay. And dealing two damage to <clears throat> Professor Qu 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 Quirrell. Perfect. And drawing a new hand. All right, so it's my turn. One, two, three, four, First five. thing yes. is reveal a Dark Arts card. Um, petrification. All heroes lose one health. And cannot draw extra cards this turn. Okay. Okay, so lose a health. Villain triggers, I'll lose another health. Mm -hmm. And then it's uh, my turn. So we'll put this back. Alright. So we have... One, two, three... We have three Alohomoras. Okay. So that's going to be three of these. We have an Incendio. Gain a lightning bolt and draw a card. But sadly, that location doesn't let me draw a card. That is true. And I have a fire bolt, which is gain a lightning bolt. So I get a second lightning bolt. There's nothing to purchase for three. Four, so I think I'll purchase something for three. Reparo, choose one, gain two, or draw a card. You're probably better off buying the other two and hoping for another That's two. Not, no. well, I guess not maybe really. not. Yeah, I guess. Just you know what? There's three. a lot of Reparos. There's a gain a lightning bolt and a health. These things always seem to be valuable. I'm going to take a Quidditch gear. Yeah, generally speaking, things that give you two effects are nice and. Yeah. I'm going to take a Quidditch gear. So. Ooh, a snitch. That's going to cost me three. Yep. And um, this is going to get wasted. Yep. I can assign two lightning bolts here. Mm hmm. He and this away. is going to go to my discard pile. And it's uh, Hermione's turn. Yep. All right. I guess I can put my deck over here. Yep. The draw. Yep. Perfect. Okay. All right. So, first thing we're going to reel for her. Um, he who must not be named. Add a, Add a strength to the Add location. Add a dark mark. All right. And then um, you lose one health. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then we'll play my cards. And I'm just going to heal a bunch on this turn because I'm very close to getting stunned. So I have Essence of Dittany, which allows anyone here to gain two health. I'm going to choose myself and go up to five. Then I have Crookshanks, and I'm going to choose to gain the health, I think. That, or I could kill Professor Quirrell, but I think it's better for me to just I think we gain just, some life think, right now. I think we just win if you kill him, right? No, you have to defeat all the villains. Oh, all the villains. Gotcha. It's just one at a time? One at a time. Gotcha. Okay. In this game, in this setup, at this moment, okay. it is one at a time. Perfect. As you progress through the game, sometimes you have to deal with more villains. Sometimes as you progress through the locations, you have to deal with more villains. The game will usually tell you how it works. But at this point, I'm just going to use Crookshanks to gain another two life. Makes sense. And then I have one, two, three Alohomoras. So three Galleons. So I'll just buy another one of these Reparos. Discard pile. Reveal a new card. Quidditch gear. So I guess we should really hope that we. Well, yeah, I guess. Okay. I'm drawing. So I'm out of cards, so I got to shuffle. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you're done. I am done. Alright, so I have. Oh. Man, another strength on the location. Oh, another dark mark. Okay, so um, this thing is full. So if I do not. Remove one of these or defeat the villain here. We are going to lose this location, and that's halfway 
of the uh, villain's um, um, win condition. Win condition. However, uh, defeating Professor Quirrell has nothing to do with it in this circumstance because it's not going to remove. Uh, let's see. I, I thought don't I, think I thought I read something. Pulls one off. I don't know if it pull. It says additional rules. When Lightning Bolt tokens assigned to a villain equals its health, the villain is defeated. You immediately gain the reward listed on the villain card and place it in the discard space. Return the Lightning Bolts assigned to the villain to the pile. At the end. Okay, nope. Uh, I read something in here. Oh, location control. Um, it says that if at the end of the turn the location still has the required strength, the villain gains uh, the villain the villains gain control of it. Discard the control location as the battle moves on to the next one in the stack. If the villain villains gain control of all locations, the heroes lose the game. So I guess it's just... A, yeah, so yeah, it won't matter because we're not removing one. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Well, I We guess, actually don't have a way to remove one yet. So yeah. So it just means we're going to have to Power start through. powering through. Yep. All right. So, that was mine. Uh, I have to lose a health for this guy. Yep. Okay. And this one is all heroes gain a health and gain a money if we defeat him. So... We have nothing that removes strength, right? On nothing. the board? Okay. So I think what we want to do is we want to buy as many of these cards as we can so we can start getting more of those strength and locations. I could get five, so I might do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play Hedwig, and I'm going to choose to gain um, a lightning bolt. Mm-hmm. Technically, it's not in your discard pile until the end of your turn. Correct. And then um, I'm going to play Invisibility Cloak and Invisibility Cloak and three Alohomoras. And these all just give me Galleons. Galleons. So I'll have four. And then they're all going to go to my discard pile at the end of the turn. So I can purchase. Ooh, so well, you have to kill him first. Can you uh, sign the lightning bolts now? Yep. Okay. Yep, so let's kill him. Mm -hmm. So there's uh, six lightning bolts. He has six health, so yep. he's defeated. Yep. So he goes to the discard pile over here. Okay. Yeah, we could actually turn him what, face down, so it's not confusing. Sure. That's All right. right. And then um, these go away. And we re immediately reveal a new villain. Well, actually, you immediately get these rewards. Yes. One correct. health and one money each player. Okay. And then, and then reveal a new villain. Yep. Draco. And do villains have effects when they're revealed? I don't think so, right? If it says If it says when revealed. Um, but I don't think any of them do. I don't think so. I'll double check. It's been so long. Okay. They so, only reveal during their turn. Their yeah. sequence in the turn. Unless so I'm going to take special. this card for two. Essence of Dittany. Why would you not just buy the five? Because I want to start getting through the deck to try to get some things to remove strength from locations. Okay. That's just a strategy. And then I'm going to take this card. So we've revealed another Essence of Dittany. And when Guardian Leviosa gain a Galleon, you can put items you require on top of your deck instead of in your discard okay. pile. Okay. And then these cards go to my discard pile. And I am finished with the turn. And we are losing this. Correct. So the villains have the Death Eaters have gained control of Diagon Alley. So now we move on to the Mirror of Erised. Mm -hmm. And if the villains gain control of this location, we lose. Yep. Oh, right. you're starting with one. That's how that's that's how you do the moderate version. Oh, okay. That's how we're supposed to do it. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. So then my turn. Mm -hmm. So I have to reveal one of these. Mm -hmm. Petrification. All heroes lose a health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Oops, wrong direction. So I go to seven, you go to five. Okay. 
I have Reparo, which I can't draw a card, so I'm going to use it to gain two Galleons. Then I have a Time Turner, which is going to give me a Galleon, and I can put spells on top. Then I'm going to use Crookshanks for a damage. And I have two Alohomoras. I don't think Draco's, if I'm remembering. Correct, yeah. So Draco doesn't have an active ability. He has what I would call a passive ability. Anytime a strength is added to a location, the active hero loses two health. Okie dokie. So those are all gone. I have two, four, six galleons, one damage. So I will choose... Probably to just buy some Reparos and get these. Those are the ones that like give you money and draw you a card, or is it or, either or? It's an order. Yeah, that's fine. But it's fine. So I'll just buy two of these, sure. most likely. Or I could buy Oliver, because he's three. I like the ones and... that cycle through your deck, because we if we can purchase something that removes strength, you have a greater chance yeah. of Yeah. I'm Unless just thinking really we kind of need damage. He just gives damage and heals us if he kills a villain. Yeah. Um, that's fine. I'll just buy another Reparo. Yeah, the cards that cycle through also let you get to your damage cards faster, too. That is Lumos. All heroes draw a card. Okay. All right. So, new hand for me. One, two, three, four, five. So, start with this for you. Yep. Active hero loses two health. And we have to shuffle this up. Alright. And then, what does he do? He doesn't have an active. Oh. Anytime a strength or it's a dark added. mark is added, the active hero is going to lose two health. Okay. These are gone. I used to them. Alright. So, we are going to play um, four Alohomoras. So, one, two, three, four. And we're going to play one Incendio to gain a Lightning Bolt and draw a card. And we have a Quidditch Gear, which gets me a Lightning Bolt and a Health. Nice. Which is helpful. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to stick two Bolts on Draco. We're going to spend four, and we're going to take this. Ooh. What does this one do? This is, it lets you put items on top of your deck that you acquire. Okay. This is all heroes draw a card, mm. and that's four. Dittany is healing. I'm going to take these two. Another Wingardium, and another Incendio to gain a Lightning Bolt and draw a card. Okay. Okay. So they're going to my discard, and I'm drawing up. All right. And we're good here. Mm -hmm. My turn. Yep. So reveal a card. Active hero loses two health. And Draco does not have an ability, a triggered one. So I will play my cards. I'm going to use Hagrid first to gain a lightning bolt, and all heroes gain a life. Okay. Then I'm going to use Descendo to gain two lightning bolts. So we'll be killing Draco this turn, which is Sweet. awesome. And I have two Alohomoras for two Galleons. And the Lightning Bolt Queen. And I have another Reparo for another... I'm just going to use it for another two Galleons because my deck isn't very good yet. Sure. Okay, so I have three damage at Draco, so that will kill Draco. Yep. And remove one strength from the location. Perfect. So we can clear this one off. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I have... Uh, so we replace with the last villain. Yep. Right away. Yep, Crabbing and uh, each time a Dark Arts event or villain causes a hero to discard a card, the hero loses a health. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I have four Galleons, so I am just going to purchase Incendio. Okay. Replacing with another Reparo. Discard. Draw. One, two, three, four, five. Exactly right. five. Okay. My turn. Mm -hmm. So first things first, um, active hero loses two health, but I do have my invisibility cloak in my hand, so actually I only lose one health. Mm -hmm. So boom. This says um, each time dark arts vent causes 
each time a dark arts event or villain causes a hero to discard a card, which it's not doing. Nope. So these guys do nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you lose your one? Yeah, you did. Yep. All right, so then we're going to play uh, Hedwig for... We're going to play Hedwig for two health. Okay. Because we're getting kind of low. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to play a Incendio for a Lightning Bolt and draw a card. We're going to play a Firebolt for another Lightning Bolt. We have two Alohomoras. And then we have one Invisibility Cloak, which you already saw. So that's just another one. Okay. So three. So you can purchase another Reparo. Yeah, I'll take a Reparo. Sounds good to me. And then Replace with... Oh, this is one of the promos. So, I have Rabbit Harpstring Hum. Turn this water into rum. This is lose one health to gain four galleons and it costs five so this is one of the promo cards and you know it's a promo because it has that little star down in the bottom I down in the bottom corner there so i'm going to sign my two lightning bolts here mm -hmm. and i'm going to pass the turn all right i'm only have three cards so i'm gonna shuffle up okay so my turn i have to reveal one of these active hero loses two health and he or they i should say are not triggering on this turn so I'm going to first start with Essence of Dittany to gain two health, I'm choosing myself. Then I have one, two, three Aloha Moras. And then I have my Tales of Beetle the Bard, which is either gain two or each hero gains one. And I think I will just have each of us gain one. And with the four, I'm just going to buy Lumos. Replace with Incendio. Gain a Lightning Bolt and draw a card. And I am out of cards in my deck, so I am shuffling my discard pile. Okay. Uh, you should shuffle those. Yes, I should. Thank you. And then I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. And he will not be named, so we're putting a strength on this location. Which, I don't think that triggers this guy. It does not. It's something about discarding a card. Correct. Okay. So, I'm going to do that. Then, I'm going to... I'm going to play my Quidditch gear for one Lightning Bolt and one Health. Oops. Okay. Then, Essence of Dittany for two Health. Uh, sometimes the healing cards really do help. Oh, they can. One, two. Yeah, you just gain it right away. Yep, <laughs> and then I've got an Alohomora. I've got a Visibility Cloak. And then Incendio for a Lightning Bolt and a card. And which is just another Alohomora. So we're going to stick two bolts here, okay. and with four, I'm just going to buy this. Yep. Ooh, Albus. Albus Dumbledore? Mm-hmm. Nice. He's pretty bombastic, but he's expensive. He costs eight, but he allows all heroes to gain a lightning bolt, a galleon, and a health, and draw a card. One of everything good you can do in this game. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Okay, my turn. Reveal a dark arts event. Ooh, add another strength onto the location. Okay. Got but him. we're all good because I have Hagrid is gonna punch Crab and Goyle and we're gonna win this game. Sweet. Woohoo! All right, that was game one. That was game one, everybody. Right. So, so how we, do we transition to game two? So we uh, take all of your cards from your deck. Yep. 
You sort them out. They'll either have your name in the bottom right hand corner. Oh, do you start with a fresh deck for every for fresh every, deck? Oh, every interesting. time. You, so all these cards we bought out. don't really matter. Correct. So you pull out your starting cards from the cards you purchased. That's pretty easy. You just look for the name. Yeah, it either has a cost or your name. Yeah. So you only want your starting cards. And you should have ten. One. Oh, I started yep. mixing my piles because I'm dumb. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Normally I don't do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So that's starting. So these are Hogwarts cards that are going to go back in the Hogwarts deck. These are the villains that we're going to have to add and shuffle. Dark Arts cards we're going to have to add to and shuffle. The locations you no longer need. Everything else stays on the board. So... I'm just going to shuffle this up. So the villains stay and you just add to them? You just add more villains. Okay. Okay, so I'm putting my game one locations away. So game two has its new stuff. Wow. Okay. So, so it adds villains that we have to defeat. It adds dark arts cards. It adds Hogwarts cards. And now there's new locations that we have to defeat. Now you want to make sure that they're in order. So you can see in the top right hand corner it says one of three. So you want to make sure you're doing it in order. Two of three and then three of three. So leave that there. And we gotta shuffle everything. So this on top actually, this basilisk fang, is another promo card. And I think what we have to do uh if you defeat the Basilisk, you get it. That's how it works. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. So we leave that card on the side. Yep. And we'll just put it down here, I guess, off camera. Yeah. And whoever defeats the Basilisk villain, which there should be a Basilisk, I'm I would assuming. Think so. Yep, there we go. Whoever defeats the Basilisk villain gets to put the Basilisk Fang into their deck for free. Okay, so shuffle those guys up. Okay. Shuffle these up. And what Ron is actually looking at, so if you, you the back of your rule book has a bunch of um, there's actually, separate game rules. Yeah, there's a, for, if you look in this rule book, it's pretty cool the way that, this is a super nice rule book, by the way. So I'll show you here on camera. In the back of the rule book, there are separate inserts for every game beyond the first. Mm -hmm. So game two, so each one tells you kind of, I guess, yeah. what to do. Correct, yeah. And sometimes I've never, there's, new, there's new rules, there's new types of cards. Yeah, each, um, each, each, each year of progresses. Hogwarts adds something new to the game. Correct. So like the first game we played was literally the most basic. You could teach, like basically, what, five-year-old? I mean... Six? Uh, I guess it depends on the child. It's probably eight and up. You got You have to be able to read and like count to ten. Oh, yes. oh actually, they say eleven. Okay. Man. It probably depends on the kid. <laughs> yeah. In all fairness. Maybe five is too young. Five is a little too young. Okay, so our Hogwarts cards are nice and shuffled. We reset our health. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle these uh, villains shuffle up. Shuffle up those villains, and then did you shuffle these the dark arts be, cards? I did. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be random. They are supposed to be random. And here's my Hermione deck that I gotta shuffle. I will say too, like this game's beautiful. Yes. The cards are beautiful. The packaging is some of the coolest packaging I've yeah. ever seen. I actually you love... can't see it because yeah. we have the board, but on the back of this board, when it folds up. Um, the the board folds into a square that's big enough for the inside of the box, and it looks and what it is, it's a picture 
of the inside of one of the wizard trunks. Yeah, and so, the box itself looks like a wizard's trunk. Yeah, so when you open up the, the box and you see the be- the board there, you don't actually see the board. You see what looks like a wizard's trunk. Mm-hmm. The, the Which content. is great. I love. It was just I love. little the little yeah. details. Yeah. Okay, so our we'll start with our library. So we have an Essence of Dittany, which is a healing spell. The Nitai, ooh, that's a nice one to get right off the top. So that is for three, remove a dark mark from a location. Well, yeah, that's the first so thing that's, you buy. That's, yeah. that's got to be a, for a I don't think we purchase. stick with the uh, one to start. Sure. <laughs> Excuse me. I have a Quidditch gear, another Reparo, another Reparo, and Fox, the Phoenix. So Fox is choose one, either gain two lightning bolts or all heroes gain two health, which makes sense for a phoenix. Yeah, I think we could stick with the one to start for the first three games because they're pretty easy. Yeah, but fine. afterwards, we'll see how it goes. Once we get to game four, we got to... I don't know. <laughs> I, it's been so long, I don't know how hard it is. Yeah. I just know games six and seven were very difficult. Yeah, and obviously it also depends on the order in which things come out, like most deck building games, but... We'll see how it goes. So our first villain is Crab and Goyle. So they trigger when a Dark Arts card requires us to discard a card. They will make the active hero lose two, lose a, lose one health, I think. Yeah, loses one. Okay, so do you want to go first? Sure, I'm going to go first this time. So the first thing we do is reveal one of these. Yep. Petrification. All heroes lose one life and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Okay. Which is fine because none of us have any cards to. So have I'm draw losing one. At this point. Um, I don't have any ways to draw, so that's not so bad. Um, I'm gonna play simply um, two Alohomoras. They each get me a galleon, a galleon? and then one visibility, visibility for a third. Then we're gonna play Hedwig, and I have a choice between a lightning bolt and health. So, I think that... W- I'm just going to take a lightning bolt for right yeah. now. And then I have a fire bolt, which is also a lightning bolt. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to do two to Crab and Goyle. Yep. Uh, three. We are buying that. For sure. The neat day. And that's going to my discard pile. Yep. And we reveal a new card, the Nimbus 2001. It is a broom item. It is gain two lightning bolts. If you defeat a villain at the same time, you also gain two galleons. Okay. Okay, my turn. Yep. One of these. Active hero loses one health, and we have to add a dark mark to the location. Okay. Crab and Goyle are not going to trigger, so I take my turn. Oh, so, do we have only one villain on game two? Yeah. Okay. When does it increase? I don't know. Okay. It tells you in the game rules. Like in the In, in the, the backs? insert. Yeah, in those inserts it'll tell you. Okay, cool. So... Okay, so I'm going to use Crookshanks to gain a lightning bolt. And then I have one, two, three, four Aloha Moro spells. So four galleons. Alright, so we're going to punch Crab and Goyle for one damage. And I have four to spend. There is nothing for four. So, I think I'm just going to buy a Quidditch gear for three and waste one. Reveal a new card. Ah, another one of our promo cards. Sunshine, Daisy, Buttermellow, turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Lose one life, then draw two cards, and it costs four. Okay. Okay, so refill my hand. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead. All right, so I have active hero loses two health. So I'm going down to seven. Mm -hmm. Nothing for Crab and Goyle. I have the weirdest hand. I have five Aloha (laughs) Moras. That happens. Yep, so we'll take five of these. Yep. And what could I buy for five? You could buy Fox, who okay. is five. What does he or do? Or a Fox is either gain two lightning bolts or all heroes gain two health. Okay. Or you could buy an Essence of Dittany, which is any one hero gains two health with a Reparo, which is the either gain two galleons or draw a card. Uh-huh. Those are your options. Or actually, Nimbus 2001, I forgot, is also five. Gain two lightning bolts. If you defeat a villain, then you also gain two galleons. 
I'm a sucker. I'll take the Nimbus. Okay, the Nimbus him. 2000 for Harry Potter. I mean, that's a 2001. Harry has a 2000, but I'll allow it. Oh, that's a 2000. I thought you said it was a Nimbus 2000. And one. Uh, I missed that part. It's all right. It's okay. Gilderoy Lockhart is who we have revealed. He is a cycler. He allows you to draw a card and then discard any one card. If you discard this card, you draw a card. I'm feeling lightning bolty, so. Sure. I'm done. <clears throat> okay. One of these guys for me. Petrification. All heroes lose one and one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Okay. And just, so, just so you don't forget, we'll move you down one. Thank you. Okay. I have one, two, three Alohomoras. So three galleons. Then I have a time turner for a galleon and spells go on top of my deck for the turn. Then I have Beetle the Bard, which is either gain two galleons or each hero gains one. Which I think I'm going to have each hero gain one because getting six is not super helpful. So I have five. So with the five, I think I'm just going to buy Fox. Okay. Because I like Fox. Fox Go for is it. cool. Reveal a new one, and it is Incendio, which is... Oh, actually... That's eh, fine. We're past it. I could have put spells on top of my deck if I bought a spell, but I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. So good. All right. Okay. My turn? Yes. All right. I have... Expulso. Active hero loses two health. Okay. So I'm going to check and see if I have my cloak. Which I don't. So I'm going to lose two. And then I must not know how to shuffle because I have five Alohomoras again. I mean, that'll happen. I think you start with six and or seven. Is there anything I can buy with five? Nope. With five? Not five so specifically. I will take this. That's a Reparo. Mm -hmm. Yep. Reveal the sorting hat. Oh, I actually had six. Oops. What? I had six. I forgot you gave me... That's fine. I'm going to take the other one. That's fine. And the golden snitch. And I'm done. I guess I should stop shuffling my cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I have one, two Alohomoras. For two galleons. I have my time turner again, so one galleon, and I can put spells on top. Then I have Beetle the Bard, and I'm going to choose to have each hero gain one galleon, so I get four total. And then I have Fox. <clears throat> I think we have Fox use two, well, I guess, or do we want health? Do you have a way to heal yourself on your turn? No, the health would be good, and I can deal with him on my turn. Okay, so then I'll have all heroes gain two health That's instead. very good. With Fox. Okay, so that's all these, and I have four galleons, and I can put spells I acquire on top of my deck. Yeah, so get one of so those So I'm going to get... This one. Okay. To put on top. And I'm replacing it with the exact same thing. Okay. Draw. My turn. So I'm going to reveal. Oh, strength to the location. That's our third one. But, hath no fear. Finite. Finite. Remove a strength from the location. Man, the card's so good. So good. Get rid of that. <clears throat> and then I have um, Aloha Mora for that. A visibility cloak for that. And we're going to use my Nimbus for nice. two lightning bolts. It has an effect, too, when I kill a guy, which I'm going to do right now, mm -hmm. I think I gained two money. You do. So that's kind of convenient. Yeah. So two so galleons. Two galleons, and then we get the reward for him. All heroes draw a card. Sweet. And then we have to pull these off. 
Yep. And immediately replace with a new villain. Okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Tom Riddle. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have another Alohomora that's from the card I just drew. And then I still have a Firebolt. So um, I gain a Lightning Bolt. It does. Say, it says if you defeat a villain, you also gain money, but that's not possible. Nope. So that's fine. You have lots of money, though. Yeah, if six. Yeah. So I can buy some things. So um, you, you might, might just, just want to buy a I, two and a four. I think I want this one for sure. Yeah. So let's see what I get. Okay. And we got Wooden Guardian Leviosa, which is also a two. It allows you to put items on top of your deck, but no. you purchase. I'm going to take, I need some health. Okay. So we're going to take some Essence of Disney. And another promo. It's the one we saw earlier. The Eye of Rabbit Harpstring Hum. Turn this water into rum. Okay. And then my Lightning Bolt is going to be assigned... To Thomas Malvolu Riddle. Yeah. Okay. What, what a genius this girl was. <laughs> this girl being J.K. Rowling. Yep. <laughs> okay, my turn. One of these guys... Uh-oh, add another dark mark onto the location. The fact that that name ends up being an acronym for I am Lord Voldemort oh, is ridiculous. Yeah. An anagram, but yes. All right, that's right, an anagram, just say acronym. Okay, yeah, anagram. and then Tom's ability. For each ally in hand, active hero chooses one. Either lose two health or discard a card. And I have one ally in my hand. I have Crookshanks. So I can either choose to lose two life or discard a card and I am just going to choose to lose two life go to seven okay so the first thing I'm going to do is play incendio which is gain a lightning bolt and draw a card then I have one two Three, four, Alohomoras. One, two, three, four. I have a Quidditch gear to gain a health and a lightning bolt. And I have Crookshanks, who is the ally in my hand. And I'm going to choose to gain a lightning bolt. Okay, so I'm going to deal three damage to Mr. Riddle. And I have four galleons available so I am going to choose I'm gonna choose to do the sorting hat that's fine okay reveal a new card Ginny Weasley all right an ally that gains you a lightning bolt and a galleon and I only have one card left in my deck so we're shuffling Go ahead. All right. So, ooh, add a strength to the location. Oof. Hopefully you have your finite. You know what? You Good thing you said that, because I do have my finite. Well, you got to do his ability first. Do you oh, have any allies in your hand? I do. Okay. So you have to choose for each ally. How many allies? I just want one. Okay. So you have to choose to either lose two life or discard one card. Goodbye, Alohomora. You're yeah, being discarded. But I'm playing this finite. Yep. So we're getting rid of this. Nice. Man. Knowing that this happens, that is a difference that's for we, sure. We were, we, been, were we, been, we're, we were handicapping ourselves. When we sure. were playing. As soon as the fourth one got, we were just getting we rid of it. it. Yeah. yeah, which that makes the game a lot harder. Yeah. All right. Um, incendio. Um, I want to incendio for a lightning bolt and a card. So it's a lightning bolt. Draw a card. Then I have uh, I drew another Alohomora, so I have two. So that's just two. Galleons. Galleons. Okay. And then, ooh, Hedwig. I need Hedwig. Gain some life. Gain some life. One, two. So, kind of a mediocre turn, but I got rid of the strength, so that was yeah, huge. Yeah, that's legitimate. So, I'm actually one shy of killing him. Yep. Sad. And two. Um, what are my options for two? You can buy Gilderoy Lockhart, which I think you should because you have the finite. He lets you cycle. So if you draw a card, Love you it. discard a card. All right. And we are replacing with Reparo. Okay. And I'm done. 
Okie dokie. I have a really awkward hand. I have five Alohomoras. <laughs> Well, really boring. There's a spell so, there. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, we might as well get oh, the promo Did you spell. do all this stuff? Oh, I did not, actually. You're right. I just got so distracted by the fact that I only had the one. I have five Alohomaras. Active hero loses one life and discards a card. Okay, so, so you have four discard. Alohomaras. I have four Alohomaras. And he's not going to trigger because I have no allies. So, so I have four. So I will... Do you have a spell or Jenny Weasley? I'll buy Jenny. Replacing with an essence of Ditney. Do you want to be buying more allies considering this guy? Oh, he's going to die. He's, gonna he's die. got one health left. All right. Yeah. My turn? Good. Yes. All right. Uh, ooh, Obliviate. <clears throat> All heroes choose one. Discard a spell or lose two health. So okay. let's see what I got going on here. I have my cloak. So my cloak allows me to only to lose one health at a time. So I'm not oh. going to discard. I'm just going to lose one. I will choose to discard an Alohomora. And then... Wow. Okay. So I'm going to play my cloak and two Alohomoras. So that's going to get me... Um, three galleons. Three galleons. <clears throat> One, two, three. And... What does the snitch do? The snitch gain two galleons and draw a card. No. Oh. But it's five. All right, so I'm going to play a Reparo to gain two. Sure. Then I'm going to play another Reparo just to draw a card. Okay. And I, oh, perfect. I'm going to uh, play a Firebolt to get to me a Lightning Bolt. Nice. Which I can assign here to yeah. kill him. Yeah. And because and I kill him, galleon. I get a galleon for Fireball. Nice. So we kill uh, Tom Riddle. So all heroes choose one. Either gain two health or search their discard pile for an ally and put it in your hand. Oh. Let's see. Do I have... Oh, I just have Ginny that I just bought. Let's put Ginny in my hand. That seems good. I don't really need the health at the moment. Yeah. I, or uh, yeah, or gain two health or search my... Correct. I mean, I might as well just uh, gain two health. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then, that was that. So we reveal a new villain right away. Yep. Draco. Okay. And now I have Lots. six. Six. So you could do the four promo and a two promo, or you could do a Reparo that helps you cycle with a two. What's the four promo do? The four promo, it is lose one health and draw two cards. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't have a lot of healing. But it's lose you one can... health and draw two cards. Mm -hmm. That seems interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll maximize. I'll take these two. Okay. Try it out. So we're replacing with Lumos. All heroes draw a card. And Incendio. Gain a lightning bolt and draw a card. They're both four cost. Okay. Okay. All right. So my turn. And these are the cards I played, so they go here. Active hero loses one health and discards a card. Sad. Okay, so I will discard Crookshanks. Okay. Draco does not have a triggered ability at the moment. He only triggers when we add dark marks onto the location. So I will play my cards. So I have a Quidditch gear to gain a lightning bolt and a health. I have a time turner to gain one galleon, and I can put spells on top of my deck. <clears throat> I have Ginny Weasley for a lightning bolt and a galleon. And I have a sorting hat for two galleons, and I could put allies on top of my deck instead of my discard pile, but there are no allies to purchase. So we're going to do two damage to Draco. And I have four galleons, so I'm just going to do the all heroes draw a card one. And it's a spell. Can you put it on top? I can. That's a good one. Okay. So these all go to my discard pile. All right. All right. And I spent all these, and we replaced it with another Reparo. Okay. I have, ooh, poison. All heroes choose one. Discard an ally or lose two health. 
Okay. Uh, my ally is Fox. My so ally gonna... is draw a card, discard a card. If you discard this card, draw a card. Psh. So I discard him because of this. Mm -hmm. I still draw a card. So yeah. it doesn't even hurt me. And I'm just going to lose the two life because Fox could have us gain it back potentially. Or I could also heal you too on right, my turn. I'm not that worried about it. So Fox is just too good. Okay. So I'm going to... I have three Alohomoras in my hand. Okay. So, so three we're going to play three of those. Get three of these. Three. And then I have a Essence of Dittany. And I only can gain one, so I'm just going to give as you, well have me. you. You, you yeah. heal too. Mm -hmm. And then I have my Nimbus 2001 to gain two Lightning Bolts. Okay. So I'm just going to put those right here. In my three, I'll take a Reparo. Yeah. Load my deck up with these little cycling guys. Mm -hmm. Expelliarmus. Gain two lightning bolts and draw a card for six. Oh, nice. Just on your field. Okay. Done? Yep. My turn. Rashio. All heroes choose one. Discard an item or lose two health. My only item is Tails Beetle the Bard. Do you have any lightning bolts that you can do this turn to get yes. rid of him? Yeah, I could. Okay, so then I could discard my item. I have a fire bolt. Sure. I will... That's fine. I'll discard my item, sad face. I don't want to... Okay. So I'm going to start with Lumos. All heroes draw a card. Cool. Oh, I don't actually have any cards. Am I just, so I got to shuffle. Yep. And this guy, what does he trigger? When we add a dark mark to a location. Okay. So all heroes draw a card? Yep. Okay. This game's fun. Yeah, I love this game. Super thematic. Girl. I mean, they, they did a really good job on this game. Mm -hmm. And if you um, want to know how we sleeve this game... Don't ask. <laughs> Painstakingly. <laughs> you don't you don't want to know the effort that went through sleeping this game. It's ridiculous. All right. So then I'm going to use Incendio to... So USAopoly, I know you've watched our stream before. If you're seeing this now, please, if you make a game that has cards that don't exist in any other game... Card sizes that don't card exist. Card sizes like this one and this one... Yeah. Can you please make sleeves for them? Yes, please. Or just make please, them please. like standard card size. Yeah, either one. Either, either one, one is fine. okay. Because like a regular card would actually fit perfectly right here. Yeah. And uh, then you wouldn't have us going nutso about figuring out how to sleeve yeah. these things. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm playing Incendio, which is gain a lightning bolt and draw a card. Okay, so I have two Alohomoras, which is going to gain me two Galleons. Then, uh, let's see. We're going to use Fox to gain two lightning bolts. Goodbye. So we can kill Draco for Beautiful. three. And when he's removed, our reward is to remove a dark mark from a location. Yep. And then replace with a new villain. The Basilisk. Players can't draw cards. Heroes cannot draw extra cards. Yep. Correct. So then I still have Crookshanks available to either do a damage or gain two health. I think at this point, because we do the Basilisk and we both have lots of ways to draw extra cards, I think I just want to use it for extra damage. I agree. Okay. These are all in my discard yeah, pile. I'm already... And I have just two Galleons, so all I can do is buy Wingardium Leviosa, but it's better okay. than buying nothing. Replacing it with Arthur Weasley, all heroes gain two Galleons. Okay. Six. All right, One, so two, three, here I go. Four, five. Um, active hero loses two health. Okay. Basilisk. Just can't draw cards. Just it's can't. Yeah, no trigger. Okay. No trigger, just passive. His ability is annoying enough. It is very annoying. All right, so I'm going to play my Finite. Nice. And we're going to get rid of another uh, nasty strength. Mm -hmm. Go down to one. And then I have... Two Alohomoras, which will get me two Galleons. Incendio, which is l Lightning Bolt and draw a card, but the Basilisk, so I can't draw. Um, and then a Reparo, which would be 
Nice to draw, but you're not nice going to. Nice to draw, to. but I'm going to take money because I can't draw. Yep. So those are there. So then four. I guess four we're just taking another yep. incendio. It's the only thing for four. Oliver Wood. And then we're going to drop this lightning bolt on this jerk. Yep. And we're done. Yep. So unfortunately I have... Oh, I guess I got to do this first. Yep. Okay, active hero loses a life, and we add a dark mark onto the location. Okay. And he has no So you lose a life? Yeah, I already did. Ah. Okay, so unfortunately I have my Lumos, which is all heroes draw a card, but nobody can draw an extra card. Jerk Sad. basilisk. So I have Quidditch gear to gain a health and a lightning bolt. I have Ginny to gain me a lightning bolt and a galleon. And then I have two Alohomoras for two Galleons. So we'll punch aside the Basilisk for two. Nice. And then I have three Galleons to spend. So I'm going to just buy... Um, buy Oliver, because I think I'd rather have you be buying the things that let you draw extra cards since you have the Finite. <clears throat> Wingardium Leviosa. Okay. One, two, three. So we're four, out of five. these, so I'm going to shuffle these shuffle bad up. boys up. Yep, and then it's your turn. <clears throat> okay. So, first one All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards. Who cares? Oh, we can't draw them anyway. Joke is on you, game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Invisibility Cloak, that's going to get me one, one galleon. galleon. And Alohomora, it's going to get me one. Raparo is going to get me two, since I can't uh, draw any cards. And, sadly, this uh, Sunshine Daisy card is a dead card. Yep. So, last thing is Hedwig, and I could choose to heal two, or I could just get another lightning bolt. We want I as think much I'm safe. lightning bolts. I think I'm okay. I'm yeah. just going to take the lightning bolt. Yeah. And then for four, can I buy anything? You can buy a three. What's the three? Reparo. I'll take one. I'm all about the Reparos. Replacing with a five. Uh, Nimbus 2001. Okay. So that's it, and we're good here. We're good here. Basilisk is almost dead. My turn. Yep. Active hero loses a health and discards a card. Uh, goodbye, and Alohomora. Okay, and then I have another one in my hand for one. I have a time turner, which is going to be one, and if I get spell, I can put it on top. Then I have. Two galleons from the sorting hat. If I get allies, I can put it on top. And then Beetle the Bard, which I can either get one or all heroes get two. I'm thinking I actually get two. So you can because buy then I can buy Arthur Weasley and put him on top of my deck. Cool. And get him on the next turn. What does he do? All heroes gain two galleons. Yes. So he's basically going to pay for himself pretty quickly. And replacing with a Descendio, which is uh, gain two lightning bolts for five. Cool. And I got a shuffle. Yep. So we spent the six. All right. So I'm going to draw. Um, active hero loses health and discards a card. Okay. Let's see. So I'm going to lose my health for sure. And then do I have a cool discard effect? I do not. So... Let's plan this turn, then. Is there anything that lets you draw a card? Because then you can just discard that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's also one that gives me too money. Oh, it's so, the Reparo. Sure. Um, I think it's fine. I'm just going to have a very suboptimal turn, which is okay. I'm going to discard a Alohomora. And I am going to play Essence of Ditney. Which will get me um, two health. Two health. So one, two, and then we're gonna play another Alohomora for one. We're gonna play Reparo for two, 
and then Hedwig for a Lightning Bolt. These are going to go away at the end of my turn, so three. All you can do is buy a two. I'll buy the two. It's fine. Guardian Leviosa. Flapping Quidditch gear. And I'm done. Okay. So one of these. All heroes choose one. Discard a spell or lose two life. I will discard an Alohomora. And I will do the same. A bunch of life. All right. So Arthur Weasley. Each hero, all heroes gain two galleons. That's fantastic. Yeah, especially when the board's so expensive. Then I have two Alohomoras for two more galleons. Then I have Quidditch gear for a lightning bolt and a health. Okay, so I only have four, and all everything's five and up except for the Quidditch gear, so I'm just going to have to waste one. Yep. <clears throat> Hopefully you'll be able to buy something with the extra galleons. And Molly Weasley, all heroes gain a galleon and two health. Sweet. For six. And then one damage and the Basilisk. Nice. Okay. One away. All right, so my turn. New hand. Mm-hmm. Um, all heroes choose one. Discard an item or lose two health. Good lord. Okay. All right. Well, I will discard my time turner. I think I'm actually just going to lose two health here. Um, I want to play my item because I actually have a firebolt, which is ah, a nice. lightning bolt. And when I defeat a villain, which mm -hmm. will be the eighth one, I actually gain a money. Yep. So we're going to defeat this guy. And when we do... All heroes draw a card and remove a strength from the location. Nice. And you defeated the Basilisk, so you get the Basilisk fan into your discard pile. Oh, very thematic, Harry mm. Potter. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> new okay, villain. New villain. All active hero loses a health. You don't trigger that yet, but Professor Quirrell. Professor Quirrell. Okay. So, look at all that money to start the game. That's kind of nice. So, with that being said... I can. I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna play uh, my Nimbus 2001. I'm gonna put two lightning bolts here, and then Alohomora, Alohomora. So that's two. Um. Okay. Anything worth seven? No. How but good But there's is... two sixes and fives. Okay. What does the six do? This one. Gain two lightning bolts and draw a card. Okay. Or, or Molly Weasley, which is all heroes gain a life and two, or I'm sorry, gain a galleon and two health. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. all right, I think I'm going to play this Reparo to draw. draw a card and maybe buy one that costs five. Okay. Oh, okay. Guild of the Lord, draw a card and then discard any one card. All right. Any hero gets two health. Uh, except you have to just discard that card. Draw a card, then discard any one card. Oh, sure. Okay, that's so it's just discarded. Yeah. Okay, no big deal. Alright, so five. I'm going to take... You can buy Nimbus 2001 or the Golden Snitch, which is gain two galleons and to draw a card. Hmm. Or I like the one another promo. I like the one that does the... the yeah, give me the Snitch. So Draw a card, galleons. Yeah. Okay, replacing with another Expelliarmus. And this is going here. Mm -hmm. And I'm done. Okay, my turn. One of these guys, Petrification. All heroes lose one life and cannot draw extra cards. Sad face. All right, rude. So I have Incendio, which is not going to let me draw a card, but it will give me the Lightning Bolt. Then Ginny is going to give me a Lightning Bolt and a Galleon. Then I have two Alohomoras for two more Galleons. Then I have Beetle the Bard, which is either two Galleons or one for both of us. And there's nothing for four, so I kind of just need the two Galleons. <clears throat> so I have a total of five. So we'll punch size Professor Coral for two. Okay. And then I have five Galleons, so I will buy... Uh, Descendio. Okay. What are you replacing it with? I don't know. One second. Reparo. Okay. New hand. My turn. Uh, all heroes lose two. 
Ooh. I have my active hero. Oh, I'm sorry, too. active hero list too. I do. Oh, this should be in my discard. Yep. Um, I do have my invisibility cloak again. Woohoo! So, so I lose, lose one. one. And active hero loses one, so I lose an additional one. Oh, I might have forgotten to do him on my turn. I yep. can't remember. That's right. Take one. I think I did forget. And then um, I'm going to remove a strength from the location. Or a dark mark, whatever you... I don't know if it's strength or dark mark. I keep calling it strength. Uh, Yeah, I mean, it's the dark mark symbol. Yeah, skull. all right, so That's three... Three um, money. Galleons. yep. Yep. Anything to buy for three? Reply room. Um, so, or what could I buy for five? You the, can buy a Nimbus 2001. I'll, I'll, I'll buy that. I'm Ooh, all I'm Albus. all about the Quidditch items today, apparently. Albus. Okay. And Done? I'm, yeah. Okay. Active Hero loses two. Ooh. And now I have to lose one. I'm at one. Close to stun. Okay, so Lumos. We haven't seen a stun on camera yet. We've Not yet. been smoking this. Lumos. All heroes draw a card. Okay. Well, that was good. I drew Crookshanks, who I'm going to use to gain two health. Nice. Then Alohomora for a Galleon. Wingardium Leviosa for a Galleon. Sorting Hat for two Galleons. And then Oliver Wood gives me a one Lightning Bolt. Unfortunately, I can't trigger his bonus because I don't have enough to kill Professor Coral. And four can only buy me... Reparo, which of course I could put items or allies on top of my deck, but not spells. Yeah, too bad you didn't have a card to get that Alwis Dumbledore on top of your deck. Yeah, well, I don't have enough money. I'm wasting one as it is. And one at Professor Coral, and replacing this card with a Wingardium Leviosa. I will say it's kind of nice. Hermione is just teeing up these uh, villains for me to murk them with all my uh, Quidditch gear. On my lightning bolts. All okay, so birds. I have five, and then you had me draw a card for something you played. Correct. And then I'm going to do this, which is active hero loses a health and and add a strength to the look. That's nasty. Yep. All right, so I go to one. Uh, this is going to go here. And sadly, this is going to stun me. Yeah. All right, so okay. first stun. So... I have to discard half my cards. Correct. Well, the first thing you have to do is if you had any tokens on your board, you would have to discard those. Which I don't have. Then you have to add a, a, a dark mark onto the location. Really? Yep. Okay. And then you have to uh, discard half your cards in your hand. Right. And it says that I you... I think it's... I can't, I can't remember if it's rounded. Well, you have six, so it's irrelevant. Yeah, I can't remember. It's, it's rounded down. down. Is it rounded down? Okay. Um, and so this card is worthless because I can't lose a health to draw cards this turn. So we're going to get rid of that. And then... Oh, we have a crazy hand. I have to lose all these cards? So sad. All right. Well, I'm going to... Yeah. We're going to lose all these. Okay. So I discarded two Reparos. Okay. Okay, so, um, and I blue believe you stay stunned until the end of your turn. Yeah, your, you, your health resets at the end of your turn. Yeah, so that's why I couldn't play that card, because I couldn't go lower. Mm -hmm. All right, so I just playing two Incendios uh, to get two Lightning Bolts, and they each will draw me a card. So that's not bad at all. One, two. Then I will play a Reparo. Well, yeah, maybe I play. Let's see. There's really nothing to buy. No. Yeah, I'll play a Reparo just to draw a card. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll use Hedwig for a Lightning Bolt since I'm already stunned. Yep. Alohomora gets me a Galleon, which I won't be able to spend, because um, my last card is going to remove this strength from the location. Okay. And... Lots of... So, one to kill him. One to kill him. Mm -hmm. um, all heroes gain a money and a health. Okay. Which I can't gain a, a health. But you did have... You can buy a Wingardium Leviosa. Which I will for two. 
reveal the next villain. <clears throat> next villain is all hero. Uh, each time strength is added to a location, remove one lightning bolt from all villains. Mm -hmm. oh, not so bad when he's the only guy. No, but he's nasty when, uh, when, there's, when there's multiples. multiples. Yep. So I'm going to assign my last two bolts there. Yep. And my turn's over, so I start back at 10 because yep. I was stunned. Correct. Okay. So I'm going to use Fox to gain two lightning bolts. I'm going to use Ginny to gain a galleon and a lightning bolt. Then I have two Alohomoras. And Sorting Hat for another two galleons. And I can put allies on top of my deck. And I do have six, so I guess we can put Mrs. Weasley on top of my deck. Yeah. Getting the whole Weasley family over there. Apparently. I do have uh, Mr. and Mrs. and Ginny now. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I've got all of them that are available at this point in the game. And three damage at Mr. Malfoy. Sweet. And then replace... Okay. Polyjuice Potion and lets you copy the effect of an ally. All right. Um, we're gonna add a strength to the location for he who ha he used. He who must not be named. Yep. That that thing. <laughs> All right. And then we are going to play Golden Snitch. So I get two. Oh, technically, these don't go here. Sorry. Two, and then I draw a card. Um, any one hero gains two health. Gain two, Hermione. Yeah. One for Alohomora. Uh, one for my cloak. Oh, what does this thing do? Each time a strength is added to the location, remove a lightning bolt. We added oh, yeah. a strength. Yep, we did. Um, and then <clears throat> another Alohomora. That's five. There are a couple fives. Yeah, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna spend five on. What's the one in the bottom that has? There's um, lightning bolts there. Two, yeah, just two lightning bolts. I like it. Okay. I'm all about bolts. And then I'm just gonna draw a card. Gain one, which I'm gonna get like nothing. It. It's fine. Okay. So this all goes here. This is there. Drawing a new hand. <clears throat> it seems ironic to me that the uh, Weasleys give everybody money. Because <laughs> aren't we'll they supposed to be poor? Yes. Maybe because they just always are giving out to people. All right. So okay, so, yes, one of these. Ooh, add another Dark Mark, so he's going to heal one. Little jerk. That's why Lucius is obnoxious. Okay, so I have Molly Weasley, who I bought last turn. So all heroes gain two health and a galleon. Okay. Then I have Arthur Weasley. All heroes gain two galleons. Nice. Jeez. Yeah. I might be able to buy Dumbledore next turn. Then uh, I get a lightning bolt and draw a card. Then I have Crookshanks to get another lightning bolt. Then I have Descendio for two lightning bolts. Oh, I'm just going to kill him on this turn. Wow. And then we'll draw a card. Okay. So four damage is enough to kill Lucius. All right. So that's game. That is game. Damn, that was quick. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, we wrecked that one. Still on uh, location number one of three. Yeah. Smoked him. Smoked is right. Sometimes it goes that way. All right. Well, I think we'll probably call it a night at this point. Uh, next time we'll do game three. Yeah, for sure. And hope everybody enjoyed our game of Hogwarts Battle as we progress through. Uh, yeah, we're gonna through books one and two. Yeah, for the ne uh, each week we're gonna go through this campaign until we beat all seven, um, and it might take us a few tries on. Yeah, because uh, we'll we'll repeat games where we lose. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we don't. We're not gonna. <laughs> we won't progress until we actually beat it. For sure. So um, I want to thank everyone who came out to watch us play. If you uh, enjoyed the content, please remember to uh, like, subscribe, and follow us on Twitch and Facebook and oh, and uh, YouTube. Yeah. Uh, we do post all of our videos that we stream live to YouTube um, right after the stream. So thank you and see you next time.